When I'm out taking pictures, I kind of have a rule that I constantly remind myself. And you can uh, apply this rule to almost anything in life, but the rule is, it's all about perspective. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's start off from the picture point of view. Our eyes kind of have a problem, and the problem is kind of what makes them so good. They're dynamic. So they're dynamic in two different ways. They're dynamic in the way they see light and the way that they focus on things. So what this means is you're able to see low and high contrasts of light all at the same time, and you're also able to focus constantly on your subject. And from this perspective, if you use that same ideology in a photo, then it's very boring. There's no depth and you get all flat colors. So the easiest way to make a photo interesting is to add some depth and to add some serious contrast to the light. And this is what our eyes are incapable of doing. That's what makes people interested in cool photos. There's some something in the foreground, which is in focus and it's blurry in the background. We've got these really bright lights of a city. You don't see these things when you're just viewing them with your eyes. You only see them when it's an image that your eyes can't manipulate. Another thing you can do is to put the camera in a weird place where you don't normally have your head or your eyes. That's another way of changing the perspective of the picture. And it's an also a way that makes them look cool. Just look at any pictures that you find cool. They've always got something in the way, something blurry, down low, wide angle. These are all ways that you're skewing the world that we see, and that's interesting to us. A photo is not allowing our brain to manipulate the image that is perceived through our eyes. And that's what's cool. So when you're trying to set up your camera and you're trying to take a photo, ask yourself, is this a position any normal person would be standing when that photo is being taken? Like, is it at head level? Is it in the middle of a trail? Is it anything like that? Because if it is, the photo is probably going to be boring. Of course, there are exceptions to this rule, such as long exposure, you know, depth of field, things like that, like I mentioned already. <laughs> but, whoa. still try to position the camera somewhere that's going to be interesting. So as a final note, when I mentioned that you can apply these thoughts and a perspective to anything in life, what I mean is you're not the only person in the universe. Everyone has different thoughts, views, ideas, and emotions. And by accounting for their perspectives on the world, it's going to make your life a whole lot easier. So now, to finish off with my favorite form of photography, which isn't photography at all, a time-lapse of the sunset. <laughs>